So if you want to generate more leads and clients using LinkedIn, you pretty much have two options. Option one, you can run ads. Now running LinkedIn ads can work, but it's usually very expensive when compared to using other paid advertising channels. Which brings me to option two, which is you can use LinkedIn outreach strategies. And this is where you use LinkedIn as a normal everyday user and you start reaching out to people who are your potential clients. Now the downside with this option is that it does typically take a lot of time. With ads, you're paying money to get your ad on LinkedIn in front of the right people at the right time. And you don't have to spend any time to do that yourself, all you need to do is spend money to get your ads in front of people. Whereas with using the LinkedIn outreach methods, you do typically need to use your time. However, if you use LinkedIn automation software, you can save that time. And instead of you manually reaching out to people on LinkedIn, you can generate leads on autopilot. Now, when it comes to using automation software to generate leads on LinkedIn, there's a right way of doing it and a wrong way of doing it. And just to quickly explain the wrong way of doing it, what you want to avoid is anything to do with spamming people. Uh, you don't want to message people, asking people if they want to schedule an appointment, if this is the first time they've ever connected to you or the first time they've heard about you. And you generally want to provide people some value first before you even think about sending to them or before you even think about jumping on a call with them. What I see most people do on LinkedIn where they don't get any results is they just ask people, hey, would you like to have a 10 to 15 minute chat just to see how we can help each other? Or they literally just pitch their services in the message and say, hey, this is what I do. Is this something you'd be interested in? And the reason that doesn't work very well is because people don't know you, they don't like you, and they don't trust you yet. So you need to build trust first on LinkedIn before you even think about sending to them. So how do you do this? Well, this brings me to the right way of using LinkedIn. And the strategy to generate leads on LinkedIn is very, very simple, but effective. And all you need to do is instead of asking people if they want to schedule a call with you, or if they want to buy your product or service, instead, what you need to do is ask people if they want to watch a short video that solves a big problem that people have. And then if people like what they hear in that video, they have the option to schedule a call if they want to learn more. If they don't schedule a call right now, because maybe this isn't the right time for them in their business, then what you can do instead is you can continue to follow up with them, but not spamming them, not following up with them, just asking them to schedule a call again and again and again, but follow up with them with emails that provide value to them and that help them that maybe answer questions that they have in the back of their mind. And in each email, you want to be building up a little bit of trust each time they receive it. And then what happens is over time, the leads trust you more and more. They like what you do. You build up a relationship with them. And then when the time is right for them, they can then convert into a client. But the first step to getting leads on LinkedIn, like I said, is to ask them if they want to watch a video. So what kind of video do you create in order to generate leads? How should you structure this video? Does it have to be anything fancy or can it be a simple video? video presentation? And where do you put that video so that you can get the maximum amount of conversions? Well, I've recorded a free masterclass that goes through exactly how you can do this step by step. Just go to salesappointmentsmasterclass.com to check it out. Now, once you have that video set up and everything's ready to go, you can then use LinkedIn automation software to start promoting the video or to start getting that video in front of more people. Because remember, the more people that see the video, the more leads, appointments, and clients you'll be able to get. So it is a little bit of a numbers game. So with LinkedIn automation software, instead of you having to message people yourself or connect to them yourself manually, you can automate all those time-consuming steps. So you might be wondering, what is the best LinkedIn automation software in order to do this? Well, in this video, I want to share with you three of my favorite LinkedIn automation tools to help you decide which LinkedIn lead generation automation software will be best for you and your business. Now, just as a few warnings before using any LinkedIn automation software, using LinkedIn automation software can potentially get your account restricted, especially if you use the LinkedIn automation software to spam a lot of people or to basically annoy people on LinkedIn. If you do this, what can happen is you can get complaints with LinkedIn or LinkedIn might see that you're using LinkedIn in a very suspicious way and then it could flag your account as someone who's spamming people. Now, you might be surprised to hear that you can actually have this happen to you even if you don't use any LinkedIn automation software. So if you're a little bit 
excessive with the way that you use LinkedIn or you don't use it in the right way, even if you do all this stuff manually, you could still get your account restricted. So it's not so much about whether you use LinkedIn automation software or not, it's more about how you use the LinkedIn automation software. So just keep that in mind before you start using any LinkedIn automation tools. And there's one more side note to keep in mind, LinkedIn are trying to stop people from using LinkedIn automation software. So what you'll probably find is that sometimes when you use the LinkedIn automation software, it could reach the point where it stops working. And that's because LinkedIn have maybe changed some of the features on their platform so that the LinkedIn automation software no longer works. Because remember, LinkedIn doesn't really want you to use the LinkedIn automation software because if you use the LinkedIn automation software, you're not going to spend any money on LinkedIn ads, which is what they want you to do. They would obviously rather you spend more money with them advertising to people instead of you using LinkedIn automation software to reach out to people and to save money while doing that and also reach out to a lot more people at a much lower cost. So I've noticed there's always this sort of like a cat and mouse game between the LinkedIn automation tools that you can use and the LinkedIn platform itself. So when LinkedIn releases an update and stops the LinkedIn automation tool from working, usually in a few days, sometimes a week or so, the LinkedIn automation tool releases another update and then it starts working again. So there's this cat and mouse game that you just have to be aware of. Uh, sometimes it can work for months without any issues and then suddenly it stops working for a few days. They fix it and then it starts working again for a good few months and then for a few days it stops working again. Again. So I just want you to keep that in mind before using any of these LinkedIn automation tools. So with that out of the way, these are my top three favorite LinkedIn automation tools, starting with number one, which is Meet Alfred. Now Meet Alfred is number one on this list because of its ease of use. It's the easiest LinkedIn automation tool that you can use. So one of the reasons it's so easy to use is because it works on the cloud, which means you don't need to download any Chrome extensions or you don't need to install any applications or software on your computer in order for it to work. All you need to do is sign up for an account and I'll include a link in the description of this video if you want to check it out. But once you sign up for an account, all you need to do is connect Meet Alfred to your LinkedIn account. And then on Meet Alfred, you can select who is your audience and you can create the messages that should automatically go out to connect to people and then message them once they do connect back. And Meet Alfred then does all of the work behind the scenes on your behalf. So Meet Alfred is really good if you want to save as much time as possible when using LinkedIn automation tools to generate leads. So the way I typically use Meet Alfred for myself and clients is I would typically ask people if they want to watch a video. And then when they say yes to watching the video, I would then send them into my sales funnel. And again, you can learn more about how to do this and how to create the sales funnel and the infrastructure that goes along with this strategy at salesappointmentsmasterclass.com. One of the other advantages of using Meet Alfred is that you can also integrate it with other platforms. So Meet Alfred doesn't just integrate with LinkedIn, but it can also integrate with email or any other tool using Zapier so that you can transfer leads generated from Meet Alfred or from LinkedIn into whatever other application or CRM that you want to use. The downside though to using Meet Alfred is that it doesn't give you as much control compared to some of the other tools on this list. And that brings me to tool number two, which is Linked Helper. And Linked Helper is a really good LinkedIn automation tool if you want to have a lot of control over what you can and cannot do with LinkedIn. So I'll give you a quick example. With Meet Alfred, when it connects to people and when it messages them, you don't really get a lot of control in terms of how quickly it should connect to each person. Whereas with Linked Helper, you can actually select it so that when you connect to one person, you can tell Linked Helper to wait one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour, a day, or as long as you like before connecting to the next person. So that's what I mean by giving you more control. Linked Helper really allows you to go into granular detail in terms of what happens when you're generating leads on LinkedIn when you're connecting to people and when you're messaging people. With Meet Alfred, it's a lot simpler. They literally just say, do you want to connect to this person? Yes or no. Which message do you want to send to them? And then when they connect back, what do you want to say or what message do you want to send to them after they connect back? Meet Alfred, you can still actually add a delay when sending messages. So you can say, I want to send this message maybe one day or one hour after the previous message, but you just don't get as much control compared to what you get with the Linked Helper. Also, Linked Helper has a lot more advanced tools and advanced options. So if you really want to do specific things with your LinkedIn account and you want to create maybe these advanced sequences, it's probably going to be a lot easier to do this on Linked Helper because they give you a lot more control. The only downside to use in Linked Helper is that it's not on the cloud. So what that means is you have to download software to your computer 
and linked helper only works if your computer is on and the software is running. Whereas with Meet Alfred, you can turn off your computer. It doesn't matter if you're on your computer or your laptop or not. The software, because it's on the cloud, it still runs in the background automatically. But with Linked Helper, you do need your computer or laptop on and you need the software running in order for it to work. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to connect to anyone and it won't be able to send any messages. So if you have maybe a sales team or you have a lot of people that are using LinkedIn and you want them to use LinkedIn automation software to generate leads, it might be easier for you to do this using a platform that's on the cloud such as Meet Alfred because otherwise every salesperson that's using LinkedIn is going to have to download the linked helper automation tool. That being said, linked helper is a little bit cheaper compared to Meet Alfred. There's not a huge difference, but it is a little bit cheaper and it's still a really good piece of software overall. So if you're looking for a solid and reliable tool that allows you to connect to people and message people automatically and do a lot more than that, then Linked Helper is definitely worth checking out. And then my third favorite LinkedIn automation tool on this list is Linked Radar. And Linked Radar is the cheapest LinkedIn automation tool. And it's a really good tool if you want to automate some of your LinkedIn prospecting. And at the same time, you don't want to spend a lot of money on any software. So Linked Radar is the cheapest LinkedIn automation tool on this list. However, the only downside with using Linked Radar is that it is a Chrome extension. And you might be wondering, why is that a problem? Well, the problem is that with Chrome extensions, it's a lot easier for LinkedIn to release updates that block Chrome extensions extensions from working. So if you're using other software such as Meet Outred or Linked Helper, it doesn't use any Chrome extensions. It actually has its own tool where it connects to people and it has its own web browser where it does all this stuff. And it can even in some cases go over the LinkedIn weekly limits that LinkedIn limit you from connecting to new people every week. Now it doesn't work 100% perfectly every time, but they do have these things in place where they can try to bypass these limits. Whereas with the Chrome extension using Linked Radar or any other LinkedIn lead generation tool that uses a Google Chrome extension, it's much easier for LinkedIn to block these features. So just keep in mind that if you use Linked Radar, you might be limited in terms of how often you can use it or how well you can use it compared to some of the other tools on this list. Now, even though these are the three LinkedIn automation tools I would recommend that you look into if you're interested in automating your LinkedIn lead generation, it really doesn't matter which tool you use. As long as you're happy with it and it does the job of what you need it to do, then you should be fine. And it's also very important that you only use the LinkedIn automation tools to automate what you otherwise would do manually. So don't use it to do anything crazy uh, because that's when you can start hitting problems with LinkedIn. So you just wanna really use it to automate your LinkedIn connections and automate the messages that you send to people as well. But remember, this LinkedIn lead generation strategy will only work well if you have the right strategy in the first place for generating leads in your business. So you need to have the video that I mentioned, you need to have the landing pages, the follow-up emails, and you need to have it so all this stuff works automatically in the background of your business. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, be sure to watch the free masterclass I recorded at salesappointmentsmasterclass.com. And if you're looking to target business owners on other channels other than LinkedIn, I would recommend checking out TikTok as a really good alternative. You might be surprised to see the results that you can get on TikTok. And I'll put a video here on the screen that you can watch if you're interested in learning how to target business owners using TikTok. Otherwise, I also recommend that you watch the video I've recorded on what are the best lead generation strategies. That video will go through the pros and cons of other lead generation strategies that you can use outside of LinkedIn and how each of these strategies compare to each other. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.